Hi, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a few minutes just to talk about our gut microbiome and Munjaro. It's one of the gut microbiome is one of the topics that I'm kind of a little obsessed with. So I um, will apologize from the start, but I love this topic. It's fascinating. There's so much research going into the topic. Um, so much opportunity for us to be able to take control of our health and to actually resolve issues versus band-aiding issues. So I get really excited when I think about gut health and the potential that it has um, for us in the future. One of the things that's very interesting to me is the fact that obesity and uh, so many diseases, but obesity itself has been linked to our gut health. One study that they did, they took regular mice, um, wiped out their gut and replaced it with the gut bacteria of obese individuals. And those mice became obese. So it goes to t tell you that our gut really does influence whether we're obese or not. So based on that information, I myself want to go, okay, well, what about all the people who aren't obese and how can I get a healthy gut like they have? So I don't think the studies are quite there yet, but what excites me is that with taking Munjaro, we're slowing down our digestion. So we're giving our digestive system more of an opportunity for our gut microbiome to grow and diversify if we're taking in those live and active cultures. So that is my opinion, at least. I would love to see some scientific studies proving that. That would be amazing. But it's my opinion that by the digestive system slowing down, we probably have a greater opportunity to diversify our gut bacteria. So I am personally trying to take in a daily um, yogurt or yogurt drink or um, miso or something that's a probiotic food. I do prefer the live and active cultures. I think some studies have shed doubt on the fact of probiotic supplements and whether they're really able to take up residence in the gut. So based on that information, I tend to lean toward the probiotic foods. So I'm trying to increase um, my probiotic food consumption. So hopefully by doing that, I will continue to diversify my gut health. So that is exciting to me, the potential and the possibility. And I really hope one day there's some studies that come out with the Majoro or semaglutide medication to see how that impacts the ability to really gain gut diversity. Um, when you're intaking the probiotic foods, I would love to see a control group that's not and a group that does and to see the difference between the two at the end of a study. That would be amazing. So if there's somebody out there who knows somebody out there who can do a study like that, please have them. Um, so that is what I wanted to talk about today. Gut bacteria, the most amazing things, all the things that they tie back or being able to tie back to gut bacteria these days, it's fascinating. Um, our mental health even. There is actually a study with that shows people who consume a daily dose of yogurt actually have less anxiety, less emotional response to stimuli. Um, so it's very fascinating to me, all the different places that our gut bacteria may impact our health. So I'm constantly reading about this, constantly trying to learn about it. And um, I hope that you guys do as well. But 
please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this and if you think that I'm on the right track. Um, and if you will try to increase your probiotic foods as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.